It's a shortage unlike anything Lee Health Blood Center Supervisor Jeremy Puckett has seen before. I've been here almost 20 years, and it's the craziest thing I've seen, especially over a long period of time. Lee Health sources its blood supply from local donations and national blood centers like the Red Cross. But over the last year, the national blood supply has started to dry up. To go months without product nationally, it, it's scary. It's very scary. And unfortunately, there's no artificial substitute. But if the blood is not here, it's not available to be transfused and it's not gonna come from anywhere else. Uh, that would be a devastating day to have to tell somebody the blood transfusion they need to save their life is, is not gonna happen. That's why Lee Health is relying on people in our community, like Alex Marshall, to voluntarily donate their blood. You have to do it, especially, you know, if you're healthy, relatively healthy, you're going to help people. Donors must be 16 years old, weigh 115 pounds, and be in general good health. Whatever's collected stays in this community uh, and all of Lee County. We're out in all of Lee County. What you donate today could be in somebody's arm tomorrow, saving their life. An easy way to make a lasting impact in our community. You can learn more about donating on LeeHealth.org. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.